All right, so here we are in my shed slash studio. We haven't started this build yet, and if you don't know already, I made a video about this in an earlier episode. This shed is gonna be turned into a studio where I'm gonna do all my videos, music production, everything, and it's a big project, definitely a large build. We are finally getting started with this project today, and I told you it might've been a long time, but it's happening really soon. I'm actually, this is cool, we're cool. So first thing we got to do is to start moving out all the junk that's in this shed and tearing down the things on the wall. As you can see, there's this thing behind me. We got to take that out of here. We got a lot of junk on the floor. For some reason, we got crutches in here. We never even had a broken leg before, so I don't know why we got crutches. All this stuff is going to move out, and we're going to start with this build. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Talk to you guys in a bit. All right, so you might be wondering why I'm starting this project so early, because if you remember from two episodes ago, I said that this project might be a while to start. I had no idea when I was going to start, but it might have been a while. And the reason why, the main reason why is because of money. It takes a lot of money to renovate a shed to make it habitable, because what we have to do is run electricity through the shed. We got to insulate the shed. We got to add drywall. We got to add flooring, got to add lighting, got to make sure that it is actually suitable to have a studio space in a space like the shed. I said previously that I live with my dad, but my mom was nice enough to lend me some money to start this project. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm still going to be paying for a lot of this project. What's basically covered right now is the main things that I need for constructing the shed. However, if we run into any problems and we have to go over budget, that's going to be coming out of my pocket. And for all the furnishing and everything that's going to be going inside the shed, like painting the walls and all that, that's going to be coming out of my pocket too. So it's still a lot of money that I'm going to have to put in for this project, but I definitely think it's worth it because it's really just an investment in what I'm doing. I'm 19 years old, if you didn't know, and music is what I'm going into full time. I'm not going to college. I'm just doing this every single day, building up my career in the music industry, quote unquote. The reason why I say quote unquote is because obviously I'm doing YouTube. I'm making music. I'm dabbling in a bunch of different stuff all related to music. So I can't really necessarily say that I'm doing one thing, but all of this is part of the process and finding myself in this music career. And since I'm 19 years old, this is all I'm doing. I don't have the budget to do it all on my own. Last week I announced my Patreon and all the people that become patrons will get their name engraved in a plaque that's going to sit behind me at all times in the studio. The reason why is because whoever becomes a patron is basically helping me build the studio. If you become a patron, you're literally helping me make this a reality. And I am super grateful for that. I couldn't be more grateful. So currently I don't got that many patrons, but if you want to help support the channel and you want to help support me, feel free to check the link down in the description, patreon.com slash Adriel Rivera. There's a bunch of different bonuses that you'll get for different tiers, some of which is exclusive sample packs, which I think is pretty cool. So if you want to check that out, feel free to do that. I really appreciate you guys. Like seriously, you have no idea how much it means to me. So we just recently hit 10,000 subscribers last Sunday. Right now we're at 10,361. So we gained like another 300 subscribers in a little over a week. That's awesome. Recently, we've just been alternating between green and red days. Today we're clocking in the subscriber count. So right now it shows that it's a red day, but I know for a fact it's gonna turn into a green day because we're really close to the green. However, the day before that was a red day. Obviously we want more green days than red days. So far we have more green days, but we've just been alternating between green and red, green and red. So we want some consistent green days that'll show that we're growing a lot at a steady rate. So that's the goal. And I definitely got a lot more plans to grow my channel, which I'll be talking about later on in this video. But so far, the channel has been growing really well. We're getting a lot of new subscribers, a lot more views, and a little bit more money rolling in, which is pretty cool. The only problem that I'm having right now is getting viewers on my most recent content. So I have 10,000 subscribers, but every time I upload a new video, it gets like maybe a couple hundred views. It's usually around 100 to 200 views per new video. So like within the first 24 to 48 hours. To me, I feel like I should be getting more viewership having 10,000 subscribers. One of the main reasons I think that I'm probably not getting as much viewership is because my first about 5,000 subscribers that I gained, I was not consistent with. As you guys know, I've been uploading a video every Tuesday and Friday. So you new subscribers know that I'm consistent. However, I just started this a couple months ago. I used to not be consistent whatsoever. And I think the people that used to be subscribed to me, the 5,000 and 6,000 that was there before I started this consistency, they probably forgot about me because I just wasn't consistent with them. I would post like one video a month or every two months. So if you guys are starting your music, your YouTube channel, whatever you're doing, make sure that you are consistent because people will forget about you. 
And when people forget about you, they're just ghosts in your following. I'm at 10,000 subscribers right now, so I show up in a lot of people's feed, but if they don't know who I am, they don't have that personal connection with me, they're obviously not gonna watch my videos. But I'm not disregarding the people that are watching right now. I get a lot of engagement from the people that do watch me consistently. I see all the comments you guys leave. I see all the likes that you guys leave. And it honestly means so much when I see all that stuff. And seriously, even though my community is small, I'm really happy to be doing this stuff with you guys and talking and interacting with you because it's just, it's fun. However, just some advice for you guys if you're trying to make your channel grow, don't be inconsistent because people need that consistency to keep coming back. And I'm sure if you're new to my channel, that's probably one of the reasons why you watch my videos because I'm a little more consistent than I used to be. So I got to figure out how I'm going to bring my viewership back up. If you guys have any ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments. I also want to give a little shout out to Chris Muziks. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but he's one of my most recent subscribers. So thank you so much for subscribing. This is definitely something that I'm going to want to do more often, acknowledging the people that do subscribe because it definitely want you guys to feel more part of the community. All right, so I finished tearing all the stuff on the walls down. There's still a little bit of nails inside some of the beams, but let me taking that down too. And I am so sweaty, tired, I gotta take a shower. So I'm gonna do that real soon. But yeah, just a little update for you guys. Everything's going good. So here's some food that I had later that day. Our family had a little barbecue with our neighbor. Thanks for bringing over steak, Jason. I appreciate that. It was a fun day, but not too productive when it came to videos, which is why I am recording today. So it's like seven in the morning right now. I can't see myself on the screen. I don't, like I said before, I don't have a flip out screen on this camera, so I can't see when I'm recording. So hopefully I'm in focus. Hopefully every, everything's fine. But the reason why I'm getting up this early is because I have videos that I need to record that I haven't recorded over the weekend and it needs to be recorded. My editor, Fezzi, I send him videos every weekend so that he can get editing throughout the week from Monday through Friday. Thursday. This isn't his full-time job, obviously, so I don't want to overload him with a bunch of work that he doesn't have to do if he doesn't have to. But that also means I got to be on time. And this week, I wasn't on time, so that means today, Monday morning, I have to record this video, which is a review of the Akai Fire. And I have to get that sent to him so that he can start editing it because, obviously, I don't want to be taking too much of his time away. And that's on me. I have to schedule myself a little better so that I can start organizing things a little better. And after today, that's probably what I'm gonna do. This episode you're watching right now came out Tuesday. So for me, that's tomorrow. So that means I have to finish recording this episode today, edit it today, and bring it out tomorrow. And that's a lot of work. And especially since it's coming out tomorrow, I need to be working even harder. And that's one of the reasons why I got up so early. Actually, that is the reason why I got up so early. So I can start my day off early get things done and while everybody else in my house is asleep i'm going to be recording videos they wake up oops didn't mean to do that but i want to show you guys the inside of the shed because we added a little more to it and we're planning on doing even more today so i want to give you a quick little update studio is going well i'm super excited for it as you can see i don't know if you can see but on the floor there are a bunch of bugs. We gotta do something about this bug situation, definitely. That's something we're gonna have to fix. However, let's take a look inside. We gotta adjust the ISO in here. There used to be shelves all right here that you saw me take down in my little time lapse. As you can see, there's little tan lines on these little, what do you call them? Support beams. There also used to be a huge little, I don't know what you even call it, shelf that was in the middle there. I have no idea what they used to put here the other owners of this house, but there was something right there in the middle that was just hanging, and I had to take that down. From all the stuff that I took down, here's all the wood and all the junk that's left there. It's a little dirty looking, but you know, it's what happens sometimes, what happens sometimes. But what my dad started doing, he started installing the electrical box, control box, something like that. I think that's what you call it. So we attached it to this support beam. We had to put in another support beam. And the cool thing is that this wood was repurposed from what was over there. So we put that here, repurposed it, drilled it inside on the edges right here. And then down here, we have an electrical box. Over here, another outlet box. I don't know the technical terms of these things, but I'm pretty sure you call them an outlet box. There's another outlet box and there's one right there. And we're gonna put one over here, but obviously there's all this junk in the way, so we can't really do that right now. The electricity isn't in here yet. We're getting the components ready so that we can easily just put the electricity in here and then we're good to go. But once the electricity does run through here, we'll be able to work on this thing basically almost throughout the entire day because we'll be able to power the drills that need to be powered and 
everything like that. So there's a lot of stuff that we're gonna have to do for this build. But I'm excited though. I'm excited to get the studio ready to make videos in here. And like I said, everybody in my house is sleeping right now. It's seven o'clock in the morning. I want this to be a routinely thing where I wake up this early because I actually like waking up early. Like seeing the sun outside so bright, man, it just feels so angelic. It's such a different feeling than waking up later in the day. So it's something I would like to do more often. And obviously if I'm gonna record videos and I don't wanna bother my family in the morning, this studio space is completely disconnected from my house. I'll be able to make videos without bugging anybody or anybody bugging me. Doing a project like this, you run into some problems. And one of the problems that we ran into was the flooring. Over here on the floor, you probably can't see it on video because I can't even see it in real life, but it dips down probably like two inches and that's terrible. There's a slope that goes from the middle, like about here down and it ends up being like two inches deep over there. So hopefully we can somehow level out the flooring so that we don't have this awkward slope. We're thinking that whatever the owners previously had here was big and just ended up settling down. Doesn't seem like it's rotting or anything like that. However, there's this little hole. Let me see if I could change the ISO here. Man, it's so dark. But as you can see, there's this little hole right there. That little hole is causing the floor about there to get soggy because it's right underneath that. So we're probably gonna have to replace this little piece of flooring here. And then obviously, this isn't even gonna be the final flooring. Over here, we're gonna put some sort of vinyl that's gonna go over, like a wooden vinyl. It's gonna look really nice when it's all done. And man, there's a lot we gotta do to this, but I am so excited for this build, and I'm excited to take you guys along with me. I gotta get to recording more videos. This is one of the videos that I'm recording, and pretty soon I'm gonna go visit my girlfriend's family. I told you before, my girlfriend lives in Iowa, so she's not here, but her mom wants me to come over for breakfast, so I'm gonna go hang out with her, with my little brother. And that's gonna be in like an hour and a half or so, so I gotta record my video that I'm working on right now, the Kai-Fi review. So I could get that to Fezzi. He could start editing sometime throughout this week. I'm sorry, Fezzi, if you're watching this right now. I'm so sorry, man. Like I said, this is the road to 100,000 subscribers. I'm gonna be as transparent as possible with you guys with my successes and failures. My one of my failures being that I can't keep myself on a schedule. So that's one thing I gotta improve on. Anyway, let's get out of our soon-to-be studio and start heading on with our day probably super bright outside for you guys you probably can't see me i'm probably blown out i was right much better i need some sort of tripod to hold this camera this is just hurting my hand another thing we're gonna do is end up replacing this door we don't want this crummy little door here we need to make sure we securely lock our studio up we got important stuff in here Woohoo! i am excited all right so i came back from my girlfriend's mom's house my mother-in-law's house uh, around four, three o'clock, three o'clock. It was more like three o'clock. And after that, I started helping my dad out with some more of the shed. Threw off my schedule a little bit, but it was worth it because we got the wiring all set up in there. Basically, we have the cables going to the electrical box and we're good for electricity in the future. We haven't hooked up the electricity yet, but everything's set up for it. I got a couple cuts in the process. I have a little scratch on my arm right here and a scrape about the size of a quarter on my knee that's still a little bloody. I'm not gonna show you that because I wanna monetize this video. However, got all the recording stuff that I had to do done. Now it's just a process of editing it all, getting it to Fezzi so he can start editing it into the final product. And then I have to start editing this video that you're watching right now. It's seven o'clock right now, running a little low on time, but I think I'm gonna be able to get a good amount done. I have faith in myself and I'm gonna wake up early again tomorrow to try to do the same thing. But before I end off this video, I wanna go over what I'm doing for my YouTube channel because this is the road to 100,000 subscribers. I'm taking you along my journey into the process of growing 100,000 subscribers. If you watched last week's interview with David Michael Frank, AKA Future Sunsets, he has a YouTube channel with over 150,000 subscribers. Plus he's managing to make a career in the music industry. So he's an amazing dude. You should definitely check him out. However, one thing that he mentioned to me when we were talking in that interview, if you watch, you might remember this, is Patreon. Now last week on Friday, I announced that I had a Patreon. And a lot of that has to do with the advice that David gave me. It doesn't matter if you make it to 100,000 subscribers, because if those 100,000 subscribers aren't supporting you financially, then 100,000 subscribers doesn't really mean anything in terms of your career. YouTube AdSense isn't an amazing source of income. I know that from experience. So starting a Patreon will allow you guys to directly help me out. Plus, if you become a patron, 
you get a lot of bonuses that most people don't for my content. This includes behind the scenes, early access to a lot of stuff, also exclusive sample packs, project files, presets, a bunch of different things depending on what tier you're on. And as you know, I mentioned it a bunch of times in this video, I'm building my studio. Anybody that becomes a patron will get their names engraved on a plaque that'll sit behind me at all times in the studio. So if you wanna help me out and become a patron, definitely feel free to, links are in the description, patreon.com slash Adriel Rivera. But another thing I'm gonna start doing again that I've mentioned before is TikTok. So I used to do TikTok a lot last year towards the end of 2019. I stopped because I started focusing on YouTube, but I also kind of fell off of TikTok. Currently I have around 41,000 followers, but I'm not active. So I gotta start being more active again. What does TikTok have to do with 100,000 subscribers? Well, because TikTok is a platform that is based on getting in front of people that don't know you, literally the For You page is the the front page of TikTok and you see videos that are from creators that you don't know, that's gonna help a lot with organic exposure and it's definitely helped me a lot. Like I said, I have 41,000 followers on there. Not a lot of them have converted over to YouTube at all or my music. So I gotta get back on TikTok, start grinding and showing people that I'm there. And I have a great idea for this Friday that I'm definitely going to be sharing on there. So hopefully it goes really well. I'll let you know how it goes in next week's episode, but I'm definitely thinking that this is a million view video idea. So we'll see where that goes. The main thing I'm gonna be doing with TikTok is redirect people to my YouTube channel to start seeing more of my content that I do here and hopefully gaining more of a connection with me through my YouTube channel. I post a lot of music stuff on TikTok and if you're planning on using TikTok feel free to check out this video up here. It's about my story with TikTok and maybe it'll help you out if you're planning on going into the platform. Anyway we gotta get started on this stuff. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. Feel free to subscribe. Remember this is the road to 100,000 subscribers. Getting that silver play button is one of my biggest goals. So let's do it, guys. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you. And remember, don't be afraid to show your genius. Baby, you told me, you told me you